I've encountered an interesting problem with my string of LED lights. I've converted them to run on a rechargeable lithium battery in a previous video, and it looked like everything was working fine. I charged up the battery and ran the lights for a couple of hours with no problems. But the next evening when I tried to turn them on again, nothing happened. Checking the battery, it was completely flat. So flat that the battery protection circuit had cut in. I thought maybe I hadn't charged the battery properly or there was an issue with the charging itself, so I thought I'd better do some investigation. Checking the voltage when we're charging, it works fine and the battery charges up to 4.17 volts. But a few hours later when I checked the voltage, it's dropped significantly. So I started to suspect there might be an issue with the wiring. Maybe the switch was broken or there was some other issue. So I stripped off the connections to the lights. And then I checked the switch. There's nothing wrong with it, it's turning off and on properly. And putting the multimeter in series with the circuit, there's no current flowing when the switch is off, so the wiring seems to be completely fine. Next I thought maybe the PCB is faulty and it's draining the battery, but when I measured the current flowing from the battery, it was only 98 microamps, nowhere near enough to drain the battery. So my next thought was that it's a salvaged battery, maybe it's just a bit broken. So after charging it up again, I swapped it for a fresh off the shelf battery. I left both of these overnight, the new battery connected to the PCB and the old battery disconnected from everything. Checking in the morning, the old battery held its charge perfectly, it's completely fine, but the new battery is almost completely dead. I measured the current flowing out of the battery again and everything seemed fine, there was nowhere near enough current to drain the battery. This was getting really strange. So I charged up the battery once again, and this time I left the multimeter wired up to see if there might be an occasional fault. When I removed the charging cable, I noticed that there were 6 milliamps flowing out of the battery. But here's where it gets even more strange. If I break the connection between the battery and the board, the current returns to a much more normal amount. So my conclusion is, there must be something wrong with the TP4056 chip on this particular board. If I charge the battery and leave it connected, it will slowly drain the battery. But if I disconnect and reconnect the battery, everything is fine. Looking at the block diagram of the IC, the fault must be somewhere around here. Maybe this MOSFET is somehow getting latched into a slightly conducting state, and when you disconnect the battery and reconnect it, it resets it. At this point, I decided to try another board. It is exactly the same, but I figured the chip on the first board might be faulty. So I swapped the battery over and monitored the current. The charging looks good, and when I disconnect the cable, the current drops down to a much more normal 2.5 microamps. So I charged up the battery with the new board and left it. The voltage did drop down to 4.07 volts after a few hours, which made me think maybe this battery wasn't actually as good as my salvaged one. But even after leaving it overnight, the battery still had 4.07 volts. It had held its charge. Perfect. So in the end, it looks like there was something wrong with one of the boards and I just happened to use the faulty one. I even found someone else online mentioning this issue. It could be that there's a bad batch of TP4056 chips floating around that don't work properly. Either way, it was a very curious and interesting problem to solve. Since I've made my own little power board, I thought I should probably double check that it doesn't have a similar problem as well. The board was made by PCBWay as always, check out a link to them in the description, as they've always done a good job for me. This board is a little bit more complicated, it does use a slightly different chip for charge control, it's using the TP4065 chip. I've also added a low voltage indicator, for this I'm using an STM1061 low power voltage detector. This has a built-in voltage reference, and when the battery voltage drops below a set voltage, it will pull its output low. I've just connected an LED to this with a fairly high resistor, so it will light up when the battery is low. I chose 3.1 volts as my threshold. I could have also used the output to disable the rest of the circuitry, maybe something for version 2 of this board. There's also a low dropout regulator, which should give us a stable 2.8 volts on the output. For this PCB, I wanted to be able to power the end device directly from USB if the battery was flat, so I've added a direct path from the USB 5 volts to the voltage regulator, and I'm controlling where the power comes from using these two shock key diodes. If the 5 volts is connected, then it will override the power coming from the battery and the LDO, and if the 5 volts is not connected, then the power will come straight from the battery and the LDO. I've hooked things up so I can measure the current, 
when we're charging everything looks good. And if I disconnect the 5 volt supply, then the current drops down to a very low value, down to about 77 microamps. It is higher than I'd like, but our battery should last for a very long time if we leave it connected to the PCB. So that's great. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.